I'm going to demonstrate Lab 5A, where I will use the plasmid to transform E. coli bacteria. The plasmid has the RFP gene, the red fluorescent protein gene, and the ampicillin resistant gene. It can grow on a plate with ampicillin and express the red fluorescent protein. Here are the reagents and equipment I will use to conduct Lab 5A. I will start off with two tubes, competent cells and the plasmid. The competent cells are E. coli cells that have been specifically prepared to take up the plasmid. The plasmid is the same plasmid I digested and confirmed that the genes of interest are present. I will combine the competent cells with the plasmid and keep them on ice. Keeping the E. coli cells as cold as possible helps to keep them open to accept the plasmid. Then I'll use the water bath to heat shock the cells, which causes the adhesion zones, which are gaps in the cell wall, to close and trap the plasmid in the bacteria. After the heat shock, I will put everything back on ice. I'll then add LB, or Luria broth, which provides the cells with nutrients and allows them to grow. Finally, I'll plate the cells on LB plates to grow overnight in the incubator. I will also do a control setup. The control setup will have the competent cells, but I will not add the plasmid. It is important to use aseptic technique whenever working with bacteria to prevent contamination. The bacteria in the ABE labs are not pathogenic. They've been specifically engineered to be safely used in the classroom. But it is still important to follow all safety guidelines. This means you can't touch anything that has been in contact with bacteria. Try to avoid spills, but if something does spill, notify your teacher right away. Dispose of all tips, used tubes, and spreaders in a waste container as directed by your teacher. Wash your hands before and after conducting the lab. Before I begin, I need to label the tubes. P plus is for the experimental setup, and P minus is for the control setup. Since I want to keep everything as cold as possible, I'm going to keep my tubes on ice while I get 50 microliters of competent cells. In class, your teacher will have the competent cells and will aliquot them directly into your chilled tubes. Next, I will add 10 microliters of the plasmid to the experimental tube. Then I'll let everything sit on ice for 15 minutes. Now I'm ready for the heat shock procedure. I'll keep everything on ice until right before it goes into the water bath. It'll be in the water bath for 45 seconds, so I'll need to have the timer ready. Now I'll place the tubes back on ice for one minute. Now I will add 150 microliters of LB to feed the bacteria. I will give them 15 minutes to recover and start reproducing before moving them onto plates. Now I'm going to plate the bacteria. For this lab, there are three different plates. The plate with one stripe has just LB and has the nutrients the bacteria need to grow. The plate with two stripes has LB and ampicillin. The ampicillin should prevent the growth of any bacteria that don't have the ampicillin resistance gene. The plate with three stripes has LB, ampicillin, and arabinose. The arabinose is needed for the red fluorescent protein to be expressed. First, I'll label the plate with my initials. Then I'll draw a line down the LB and LB amp plates. I'll label one side of each of these plates with P minus and the other side with P plus. 
on the LB amp era plate, I will only write P plus. Notice that my plates are labeled on the outside and on the bottom of each plate and that the writing is small and on the edges of the plate so that most of the plate is still visible. Now I'm ready to plate the cells. Anytime I open the lid, I will only open it slightly and on one side like a clamshell and close it right away to prevent any unwanted contamination. I'll start with the P minus tube and pipette 50 microliters on the LB and LB amp plates. Next, I'll use a cell spreader to spread the cells on the LB and then on the LB amp plates. It is important to spread on the LB plate first and then the LB amp plate because I don't want ampicillin to get on the LB plate. I will do the same with the P plus tube and I will also add 100 microliters on the LB amp air plate and spread it over the entire plate. Now I'm going to tape all three plates together and label the tape with my initials. Then I'll place the plates upside down in the incubator at 37 degrees Celsius. The plates will incubate for at least 24 hours until we seed bacterial growth and hopefully transform bacteria. 